to exercise their constitutional right to hold peaceful demonstrations. Much as Ruto tries to depict Azimio demonstrators as violent, it is evidently clear that our demonstrations are peaceful. And it is the police who import violence and use of excessive force into them. We remind all that whenever Azimio hold larries and or demonstrations without police interference, they aid peacefully without violence or destructions. The decision by police command to force without to aid peacefully without violence or destructions. No, sorry. The decision by police command to force access to homes is sharply and unnecessarily escalating tensions and costing lives. Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jaffet Kome, and CS Interior, Professor Kithure Kidiki, must immediately withdraw police officers from people's homes and residential areas, especially now that there are no demonstrations. The developments in Nyansa take place against other equally worrying actions by the state. Both police and hard goons are trailing, arresting, and shooting people from vehicles with foreign number plates. In the three-day demonstrations that ended last Friday, that was yesterday, South Sudan and Tanzania number plates were feasibly deployed. This creates unnecessary tension and conflict between our country and these Frederick countries and our people against the people of Tanzania and Southern Sudan. As police battle our people on the streets, they have also taken over the corridors of justice in our courts. We saw police attacking families of people seeking justice in court. We saw Honorable Babu Owino being abducted and ferried away from court corridors after being released on bail. We saw the media being attacked and chased from court corridors as they did their job of informing the world of developments in the country. As mere readers are being put at the house arrest, constant surveillance and persistent threat of being arrested. We demand the unconditional release of all the Azimio readers and supporters who are still being held in communicado. These developments also happen against the backdrop of constant verbal and warranted that their tribe against Uhuru Kenyatta, the fourth president of Kenya, and Luto's boast for 10 